hello my dears how are you welcome or welcome back to the channel i hope that every one a single one of you is uh, safe in good health uh, so please take care of yourselves take care of uh, your loved ones and uh, i hope this whole situation is going to end very soon because uh, uh, everything right now is at a hold uh, if you have a project if you have something that you are working on uh, maybe some people have cancelled all their plans I can really relate personally to that because I have some so much things in mind but uh, yeah uh, it was meant to be I guess and uh, right now uh, I really would like to do a very fun uh, light-hearted reading and this kind of readings is uh, um, like readings that I always wanted to watch and I always watched with uh, a lot of enthusiasm and uh, <laughs> they're always <laughs> fun to watch all right and so yeah I decided to make the um, a request to take the request of my dear uh, subscriber which is uh, my dear Anita Knight, thank you so much for your lovely comments and uh, you're always there in my uh, comment uh, section and uh, cheering me up and encouraging me. I really uh, thank you so much for your nice words and uh, your support. I, always, uh, I also would like to reiterate my uh, thanks to all the new subscribers. Many people have joined the channel which I be really be very much appreciate and um, yeah i would like to thank you again for all the people that have reached out and uh, uh, that have showed the, their encouragement their support thank you so so much guys it means so much to me you have no idea <laughs> it like brightens my day so thank you so very much and uh, right now let's get to this very lovely spicy juicy fun reading and it's going to talk about how your future spouse will be like sexually and how uh, are they going to try to please you in bed all right so for that i would have to ask you to choose between uh, three options the option of the universe the option of the moon and the option of the glitter and i already have some messages pumping up <laughs> popping out of those uh, cards but let's see the rest of the cards and uh, we're gonna look at if the messages that i have right now is are the right message i think some of you have already an idea of what i'm talking about <laughs> but let's wait and see all right so again option number one option number two and option number three choose your option please and you can click on the timestamps down below so that you can go so that you can go directly to your reading all right yeah let's start right away with option number one which is the option of the universe Ooh. promising 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 so i'm gonna start uh, first by shuffling the cards for option number one and then from there we're gonna start by looking at your future spouse and how is he going to be like sexually just bear in mind guys that uh, let me uh, like i would like to uh, explain that and then we can start with the uh, the fact that your future spouse is a certain way uh, sexually it doesn't mean that with his uh, husband or their husband or wife they're going to be the same way it's just that we're gonna look at how generally your future spouse is like not necessarily with you but in general how are they sexually and how are they in bed and then we're gonna look at when it comes to you all right so now let's take some cards option number one how their future spouse is in bed how is he sexually in bed right away i'm not gonna be reading any reversals guys just to let you know oh whoa the emperor oh my god so much masculine energy <laughs> oh wow <laughs> knight of wands whoa 
an additional card is I wanted to draw only three, but I need an additional card. So let's see, additional card for option number one here. Additional card. And the two of pentacles. So the, uh, the overall energy of your future spouse is that he is definitely someone who is, who is going to take charge of the matters and he's going to be the dominant one in bed. Uh, I don't see that like uh, as uh, all the time, like 100% of the time, but I see that like most of the time, like 90% of the time, he's the one who's going to be on top of you. He's the one who's going to be doing the work. He's the one who's going to do the action everything like uh, with this emperor card it's jumping at me like s so much so uh, definitely i can see right off the bat that he is going to be or she is going to be the one taking the charge in the, the whole uh, sexual act and with the seven of um, the pentacles uh, your future spouse is someone who um, takes time the the sexual act for your future spouse it's not sex it's it's uh, going out it's enjoying yourself it's having a good conversation it's starting with the enjoying yourselves when it comes to foreplay it's it touching it's scenting it's all the senses it's not just like a mechanical thing and uh, that that's about it no so uh, also when it comes to uh the, the the actual act and they will make sure that uh, with both those both those two cards they're giving me the same uh, energy which is uh, uh, they're going to make sure that uh, you are safe in the act as in they're, they're going to ask you if everything is all right if what they do the thing that they are doing is actually uh, pleasing you so they are going to be very attentive in the things that they are doing and how they are having an, e an effect on you also with this two of pentacles i see a give and take so they're going to be very fair when it comes to giving you pleasure and also taking pleasure so this is a very um balanced sexual act that they have in general and uh, i see that also when it comes to you i don't know uh it's giving me the, the the feeling that that this is actually how it's going to be with you and uh, i i did not get any information <laughs> on how your future spouse is going to be uh, in sex in general i don't know uh, it's giving me like uh, this uh, this message as in uh, the sexual experience that this person had uh, previously they are irrelevant and uh, they 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 actually don't count so i i can tell you that there might be uh, that your future spouse uh, like like everybody else they they have learned from their previous relationships and they have uh, achieved uh, some kind of a level of maturity to uh, understand that that um, being intimate with someone is far far uh, more meaningful or far or very different from just the actual technical sex all right so this is what i see uh, for how the sex is going to be like but let's draw more additional cards so that we can see what is the overall energy when it comes to the sexual act with your future spouse what is the overall energy overall energy the overall energy please Oops. overall energy please for option number one overall energy one card please for option number one all right the high priestess so the high priestess it's about both of you knowing what the other person actually wants and delivering that to the other party so uh, i see that with this book in here in the hand of the high priestess i see that first of all you're gonna start with uh, 
how do I say it? It's like studying each other. It's like what the other person wants. And uh, I see also from you, you're going to be very eager into knowing what uh, what your future spouse likes, what he doesn't like, what you would like to try, what he fantasizes about. Like you're going to be very curious and very open-minded and you would want to experience a lot with your future spouse. And I see that um, also from the other side of your future spouse, I see that he's going to be very uh very willing to to integrate maybe a different kind of uh, positions or maybe some things that uh, you suggest so he will be very enthusiastic in trying the things that you might find interesting so yeah what do i see and I, I see also with these flowers and also all the ornaments uh, around the high priestess, I see that the, the sexual act is going to be uh, um, not all the time romantic. I see that there are going to be some very hardcore actions sometimes, but you're going to. This is a very balanced sexual life. I see that very clearly in this pile. I see that. Uh, sometimes you're gonna, you're gonna try maybe to go on a weekend and try to have some kind of uh, luxurious uh, luxurious escapade uh, as an example if you decide to have kids and if you have kids in the future you would like to have some kind of a time out together and you would go somewhere very uh, like luxurious and you're gonna enjoy yourself together and also you're gonna enjoy the simple things so maybe something that is very simple maybe some uh, like um, either you or your future spouse is going to maybe buy you a little like a very simple but but a very meaningful present and present and from there you're going to yeah it's 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 a very uh, beautiful mixture of uh, passion and from the other side romance and uh, sensitivity and yeah <laughs> i'm already melting you know <laughs> So this is very beautiful guys so for people who have chosen pile number one yeah this is this is like the the perfect sexual life so let's see right now how your future spouse is going to uh, want to please you I see that there's going to be a lot of communication between you two so that's that there's that so for option number one, I can see for sure that the pillow talk is going to be quite intense and uh, you're going to talk a lot uh, after the sexual act. So you're going to talk maybe about your past, about maybe sometimes you're going to be vulnerable and it's going to be, to be uh, drawing you to each other uh, even more. Yeah, so one, one card one card for option number one please recharge yeah it's going to give you a boost of energy definitely so for uh, we have seen already that your uh, future spouse is going to be the one doing all the, the work all the action so yeah with this dormant in here i see that you you would be uh you will not be uh doing much during the act and uh, yeah and with this sword it's always gives me uh you can see first of all i just want to let you know that uh, this uh, you can see in here in this image is perfectly symmetrical it's not always the case you can see in here it's not always the case in those cards it's not always the case but this particular card is giving me the um the uh the, the vibe that the things are going to be very balanced between you two in terms of the sexual act and uh, also with the sword and those two snakes in here yeah the person who, who's gonna have a uh, like a male male member is going to be um, very big <laughs> one additional card please yeah and with this recharge uh, i was talking about that card with this recharge i see that uh, he's he's going to try to give you like the time to enjoy yourself without exhausting yourself too much 
divine will let's go of fear so yeah it, it's it's almost like uh, like this sexual act that your future spouse is going to give you is going to like give you a, a very high boost of energy and it's going to recharge you it's like you are resetting after you are on reset mode like you are brand new just born and <laughs> good to go <laughs> so definitely i see that uh, your future spouse uh, how he is he going to, to try to please you by uh, by keeping you as comfortable as possible and also by uh, not 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 making you do a lot of work as he has a lot of energy and he would be the he would like to be the one who actually does uh, the all the action without without putting you uh, into like doing any kind of work or anything so he's going to take charge and uh, you definitely are going to be pleased like for sure and this with 12 in here which is like um, uh, it's like a number of unification of two people it's like uh, uh, I see I see that like you can see uh, this this uh, this uh, man in here and there is like this this light and it's like let me give you an example it's like when you uh, when when uh, after the winter when the first days of uh, the sun comes and uh, you're out uh, in this uh, like uh, outside and uh, you're putting yourself uh, right in front of that sun that that beautiful feeling that you feel it really is like that it's so uh, i imagine you both of you like uh, when it comes to your future spouse he's going to be wanting to hold you very close when when he does the actual act and uh, yeah and the most important thing for your future spouse is that you if you please you will feel that that you are energized and you will feel peaceful and comfortable this is uh, wonderful <laughs> and also with this comfort that with this let go of fear that this card it's giving me the indication that um if you had any doubts if you had any worries if you had any reservations when it comes to the sexual act when it comes to uh, your previous relationships or even if you are a virgin when it comes to the things that you have heard about sex you have heard about how people they have experienced that maybe for some people it was painful maybe for some people they were left out so this experience that you're going to have with this person is going to give you this sense of comfort and the sense of stability and tranquility that will permit you actually to enjoy the act and i see that like uh, i'm sorry if you are a guy uh this message is for a uh, feminine so uh it doesn't matter if you are a, a woman or a man if you have a, a, a like a very high feminine energy uh, i'm telling you that um uh, you are going to feel very safe comfortable protected during that 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 I, I will not say sex, I will say experience. This is a whole experience. So, whew. yeah, and uh, as I have said in the beginning, I had uh, um, a message in mind when it comes to the option that you have chosen, with, which is this, uh, uh, this picture of the universe. And uh, the, the message that I got from the card at first, and it is the, the actual message that, that is given also by the cards, is that you are going to like to see you you are going like when you will you are going to be with your future spouse you're going to say now i'm alive now i'm alive this is life this is how life should be this is how life is supposed to be so with this um uh, a card which is full of stars it's not one star it's not like two stars it's like millions million of stars and so i see that uh, this this uh, yeah yeah this experience it's going to be one of a kind and it's going to last for i see this this is a very stable uh, like uh, marriage uh, yeah 
I'm not saying that there won't be any uh, challenges and this is not what this reading is all about but I see that the sexual part of your marriage is going to be one of a kind all right so uh, please if you are waiting for the right person uh, this right person is uh, that is uh, actually meant for you and uh, that you are going to end up with and you are going to be married to he's going to uh, show you what intimacy is in a whole different level so this is what I see most of all you guys it was a wonderful reading I'm like I'm speechless <laughs> because th th this reading I'm almost emotional of how much love and uh, compassion and empathy there is in here and um, yeah I would thank you so so much for watching this was a lovely reading thank you for letting me read for you today and uh, please feel free to subscribe like comment I would love to interact with you always in this comment section down below guys and lastly for private readings all information is linked down below in the info box so thanks you again for watching and i will see you next time bye bye guys bye <sighs> and so now for people who have chosen option number two or the picture of uh, the card of the moon welcome to your reading and so right now and the first question is how is your future spouse is going to be in bed uh, hmm. how is he going to be how is your future spouse is going to be in bed option number two please Alrighty, so let's draw three cards, three cards or four, let's see what's gonna come out and then from there we're gonna start, alright, so how the future spouse of option number two is going to be in bed, how is he going to be in bed? E Hierophant and I'm just saying you know guys that I'm not going to be reading any reversals so right off the bat with this um, Ace of Pentacles King of Chalices King of Cups and Five of Wands alrighty So I see that um, if you are looking for uh, a man or a woman, uh, please apply it to your own situation. But if it is a woman, she's going to be, uh, or a man, they're going to have that uh, typical man or woman role or um, position in bed. So if uh, if you are uh, asking for a man, they're going to be the one that is uh, doing all the action, that is uh, like. Uh, like being a little bit uh, dominant so he's going to be the masculine and he's showing going to be showing his masculinity while doing the act with you if you are asking about a, a female or a feminine um, uh, that that person is going to be the like more submissive and uh, uh, that person is going to actually let you do uh, the action and uh, yeah so you have understood what I wanted to say <laughs> so what I see from here because this person is actually uh, quite traditional in bed and I don't uh, like associate tradition with something neither good or bad it all depends on what you want so I see that uh, maybe for you, you would want to switch things a little bit from time to time, but um, your uh, your future spouse is going to be having the same thing like uh, more in a traditional way in his uh, or she. They are going to uh, want things uh, just like uh, by the book, but uh, you are going to try to push new ideas into their minds and push new 
uh, new uh, like uh, so that you can try maybe new experiments and uh, try to spice things up and uh, with this uh, one of uh, uh, ace of uh, pentacles i see that um, how do i see with this card so let's start with this one i see that so maybe if um, yeah i don't know uh, i'm just uh, giving you that message but i see a uh, makeup session okay <laughs> With this five of pentacles, I see that maybe even you, uh, you might like maybe sometimes try to start uh, some arguments because the makeup sex is, is that good. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so with those arguments, I don't see like something that is like arguing about the sex itself, <laughs> but mostly it's before so that you can get that wonderful um, like uh, tension so that you can have some something uh, something amazing and i see that mostly with this fire that is depicted in this card i see that you're going to sp uh, like spark some fire it's either you or your future spouse and when you're going to have the sex it's like this wave that is going to extenuate like all the fire that you had that you had uh, provoked so both of you are going to have that 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 um, it's like an uh, not 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 too serious but it's almost like a game where you like tease each other and sometimes you see yeah, someone teases the other a little bit too much and then from there you're gonna yeah i see mostly like uh, but in your mind you you would know like what the other person is doing so it's not going to be like uh, Sorry guys, it's not going to be like real arguments that you're going to be having, all right? It's mostly uh, so that you can spice things up and yeah. <laughs> what do I see with this? Um, I see that your uh, because your future spouse is quite uh, traditional, he's going to maybe try to set you in the mood by uh, getting new things. I see that uh, maybe uh, the uh, love language of your future spouse is uh, through giving gifts and so he's going to uh, like uh, give you flowers, give you uh, maybe uh, even with this card it's giving me like the vibe that he's going maybe to take you on trips, he's going to maybe surprise you with a trip in a very beautiful destination and you're going to be thrilled about it and also with this moon i i see that you're going to be traveling a lot i don't know why this moon is giving me this uh, this message this card but this is really what i see i see that and also with this uh, card because it is actually a play and uh, i see that you're going to be uh, enjoying yourselves very very much like beside having that uh, sexual act that you're going to be having I see that you're going to be, uh, your future spouse is going to be doing a lot so that you can enjoy yourself uh, right before uh, actually making love to each other. All right, so let's now see what is the general energy. General energy is the lovers. Yeah, it's pretty self explanatory, all right? <laughs> so. Uh, what I see in here, I see that the feminine is going to be changing her attire quite a bit and the masculine is going to be liking that so so very much and so <laughs> maybe sometimes you're going to be like uh, wearing something very very sexy and provocative and sometimes you're going to be uh, wearing something that is cute and uh, have a ponytail and maybe some other times you're going to be having like uh, wearing something a little bit like um, like uh, guys attire and you know <laughs> so maybe you're going to uh, do some kind of role play so you're going to be enjoying some role playing in the in bed but i don't see that your future spouse is going to be uh, doing that right off the bat but mostly like when you are going to be more comfortable with each other because at the beginning i see that your uh, future spouse is going to be quite traditional in the way that he does things and you are the one who is going to open his mind to maybe change uh, like try other things and i see that he will enjoy that very much in the future so 
This is how your future spouse is in bed. But now, let's see how is he going to try to please you. Oh. How is he going to try to please you? So, option number two. How their future spouse is going to try to please them. So, one card please for option number two. All right. Okay. Yes, he said that already. Yeah. He's going to give you a lot of gifts. All right. <laughs> it's going to be very generous, generous. And also with this one and five, which is a beginning of change, he's going to be changing a lot during the uh, uh, during your marriage. So he's going to be doing before like sex and uh, intimacy for him is going to be one way. But when he's going to meet you and when he's going to start being intimate with you, he really is going to change a lot. And also I see with the one and five, which equals to six, I see that your future spouse is going to be very successful and he's going to have the means so that he can give you like the finest things in life. So he's going to be very generous and his ultimate uh, language yeah compromise so he's going to be changing a lot for you all right he's going to be changing a lot the way that he does things and he, he's going to be very very generous i see that very clearly and there are a lot of people that actually like um express themselves through gifts and through give it to people and and those kind of people unfortunately they are not very appreciated because many people misunderstand their generosity as in they're just trying to maybe uh, make people do things for them or something but they really are just trying to make the other person happy in the best way that they can so this this those like people it's possible that they can't actually um express themselves or their emotions like uh, uh, by by telling them to you they mostly would like to show it to you like to uh, like uh, offer new things to uh, making sure that you are well provided for making sure that you are um, you're having everything that you need and more so this is like the way that they are trying to please you and i see that very clearly also with this woman although she is naked i see that she is like quite extravagant so i see that that all uh, like when it comes to the gifts that your future spouse is going to give you they're going to be like uh, of a very high level of uh, it's like something that is uh, like for designer bags or like something that is very expensive i see that very clearly from this card and it's not because um it's just the way that they express themselves like many people have different way of ex expressing their love and this is the way that your future spouse is going to be expressing uh, theirs all right uh, yeah uh, soul, fr soul fragments a balance will be restored yeah i see that at the beginning of your marriage guys i see that or at the beginning of you two being intimate with each other i see that in the way that you are expressing it physically yourself and in the way that your future spouse is expressing it themselves i see that they're going to be different but with this balance will be restored i see that you they're going to be compromised so that both of you are going to enjoy this act and going to actually get the best out of it uh, like together i, I see that uh, very clearly all right Yeah, and also with this moon that is uh, depicted in here, which is here uh, uh, illuminated, and in here it is dark, I see that you are coming from a very different maybe background. You are having a very different way of pleasing, uh, of understanding what, what intimacy is. I see that you, you, for both of you, intimacy and sex uh, are expressed in different ways, but mostly because you are you i see that love uh, is very very present in in here and you are going to uh, express well uh, how do you would you, would you do you want to have it and how do you imagine yourself being with the, the, the other person both of you are going to compromise so that the balance can be restored in your relationship in general but most uh, particularly uh, most especially in the 
in your sexual life. Mm, yeah, so this is what I see for you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. Uh, please feel free to leave any kind of comment in the comment section below. I lo always love to interact with you guys. Uh, like if you like to uh, subscribe, comment, like, share, feel free to do whatever you feel like doing. And also for private readings, I just want you to know that all information is down below in the info box and the readings are now available. All right. So thank you again for watching and I will see you next time. Bye bye. And now, last but not least, with the uh, image of the glitter, welcome, uh, for those of you who have chosen the option number three, welcome to your reading. So, first of all, the first question is, how is your future spouse going to be like in bed? How are they going to be like? How is your future spouse going to be like in bed? Alright, so option number one please. How is their future spouse going to be like in bed? So just letting you know guys that there will be no reversals in this reading. So first of all, we're gonna we have the six of pentacles. So he definitely is going to be a very given person. So if there is something that you would like to do, if there is something that you enjoy doing, they're going to be to be making sure to do it for you. So I see that mostly that your future spouse is going to be trying to please you. Yeah, it's like any idea that you're going to suggest or maybe anything that you would express that you like, they're going like they're gonna go with it, all right? So I see mostly that your future spouse is going to have that like this priority. <laughs> yeah, the wheel. This priority that they they really. Uh, that you come first when it comes to the uh, to the uh, sexual act and also with this nine of uh, pentacles yeah i see that your future spouse is going to do everything so that you can feel comfortable so that you can feel that you are in an, uh, your environment so that you can feel that you are stable uh, uh, like outside of the asexual act so that you can be able to enjoy the sexual act even more and i also see with this um, wheel of fortune i see that uh, like um, i don't know why i i i see that i'm just gonna say it uh, and also it's the same message that i got from this card is when you guys are going to start having sex there's going to be a lot of abundance that is going to be um, entering your life. This is a message that has nothing to do with, with the, the reading, but I just wanted to let you know that, uh, yeah, uh, when there, there are going to be a lot of blessings coming into your life when you start, you, you, both of you are going to be uh, united together. I see that this relationship is going to be of a very high uh, soul connection because it's going to have like an analytic effect on the things that you are attracting in general in your life so this actually goes beyond like the sexual act but also it's going to be uh, uh, having an impact on your uh, manifestation uh, power it's going to have an impact on many things that that are in your life like besides being intimate with your future spouse so yeah do I see? What do I see with this? Yeah, I see mostly that your future spouse is going to be doing... Yeah, uh, maybe let's see the, the overall energy and then I can give you like the, the message that I had in mind. I see that your future spouse might be uh, the kind of a person that is very experienced. The uh, like the... Hierophant, all right. He's going to be very experienced. Yeah, I'm just letting you know, guys, uh, letting you know, guys, that there might be some people in here 
that are going to wait for marriage so maybe a portion of you people that have chosen option number three you have waited for marriage and you were virgins before uh, like having the sexual act with your future spouse and uh, I see that your future spouse might be very experienced but with you it's going to be very different He's going to put you first. I see that maybe in his past relationships he has been a little bit selfish, and uh, I see that also he might be uh, he might have been in some kind of not not the healthiest relationships, like to say the least. But like uh, your relationship, I see that I don't see like I'm very sorry, guys. I don't I don't see much about the sexual act itself i see about your union i see that so much because it's going to have a very like it's going to be life-changing so both of you coming together is going to change your life 100 percent and the life of your future spouse but if i can tell you something about uh, the sexual act with your future spouse He's going to be putting you first. This is where I see most, mostly out of, of those cards. And uh, yeah, it's like you're going to be... It's like when you have a, something that you... Like the most important thing that you have in life. In all like all the people that you know. In everything that you have. And, and uh, like uh, something that, that is such, so much like so precious that you actually would like to do anything for that person yeah you can see in here with this hand he's like like do you want this i can give you this do you want anything else i can drop this and give you something else like what do you want he's going to be extremely given and i see that because he's going to recognize that you guys are are people that yeah you you are you are exceptional people that's why they have recognized that in you and they have decided to give you the whole you their whole world so uh, i i have seen some love in option uh, number one or two i i have seen a, a, like a lot of passion a lot of love but guys this is a whole new level all right i'm just letting you know so Again, I'll try and see if there are some additional messages when it comes to how he wants to please you. Yeah, he's going to be given when it comes to his money. He's going to give in, be given when it comes to time. Uh, yeah, and also when it comes to be uh, uh, to being expressive, he's going to communicate to you and actually asks you like right bluntly. He's going to be, what do you want me to do in bed? like that <laughs> very simple direct uh, honey what do you want me to do <laughs> and I will do it <laughs> yeah yeah so this is what I see for you guys when it comes to how your future spouse is in bed and let's see right now how is he going to please you and we we know already like uh, that your future spouse is going to be doing a lot sword yeah very masculine it doesn't matter if you're looking for a woman or a man this is a very masculine energy that is represented with that sword and with the seven plus one which is eight it's like infinite adaptability definitely i see that very clearly guys He's going to adapt to anything that you would want to, to do. Anything. And with this uh, 18, uh, like uh, 17, as I have said, uh, which equals to 8, it's a number of infinite possibilities. So he's going to be extremely, like, extremely open-minded. So please don't be afraid, like, in the future to just tell him what you want. Because even in your presence, he's enjoying himself. But he, when he's, like inside of you it, it, he's already in the mood he doesn't need anything else shield your energy look beneath the surface definitely yeah he, he yeah just being with you it's actually very fulfilling for that person and uh, he actually looks uh, way beyond the sexual act itself so <sighs> like my heart is it's so warm right now <laughs> so 
So with this look beneath the surface, I see that, um, let me explain that to you. Uh, your future spouse, when he's going to be having sex with you, he's not going to be having sex with a person, he's going to be having sex with a soul, all right? It's like two souls that are you like merging, merging. I see that you're going to be merging. And I see that also with those two snakes that are like going up the sword. And uh, also with, yeah, you can see in here that there are some kind of uh, like uh, two entities that are merging and that are now one. All right. So definitely your person is going to be adapting with this two is also a number of unity. And um, it's, it's, it's a unifying experience for your future spouse. You have to understand that. And please don't be shy and don't be reluctant in telling your future spouse what do you want and how do you want to be pleased because they're going to be extremely happy in seeing you please, seeing you mount, seeing you uh, like enjoying yourself, seeing you like uh, rolling your eyes. Uh, it, it, it's going to like bring them ultimate fulfillment so please don't be shy into expressing yourselves and I see that um, already that your future spouse is going to be asking you like all the time what do you want and I have seen that uh, like uh, uh, maybe they will they uh, uh, like I told you already that your future spouse is going to be very experienced so he's going to tell you like what do you think about that uh does that like sound like a good idea to you and yeah i see that they're going to be uh, very willing into getting as much information from you so that you can be pleased as much as you can they, they just they just want to please you and with this 32 in here it's like a celebration of unity it's like oh my goodness oh jesus it's like they are celebrating both of you getting together it's like they are celebrating the unity when they are doing the act with you it's like this is <sighs> this is like real intimacy and with those leaves in here that are, that are depicted in this picture i see that is as a sign of protection and as a sign of support and a sign of uh, like being in a safe environment so yeah please look forward into this relationship and if the, you are right now with a person that is not giving you fulfillment that is not putting your desires uh, in their mind i don't see i'm not telling you that you should put your desires first because you are two people and both of you should be uh, equally uh, pleased but if you are right now with a person that is not like uh, self, like giving you that kind of fulfillment and you have you have felt this energy in this this part you know that you have felt that so if you don't have feel that with with the person that you are in or with the person that is coming like maybe next time that this is not your person because because your future spouse is going to do like uh, this is an extraordinary relationship so I see, I'm just gonna say it, there might be here some twin flames, I see that. Yeah, this is a very, uh, this is a whole new level, all right? So this is not just sex, this is not just intimacy, this is two souls that are merging and into being in an intimate uh, experience. So, yeah. I feel a little dizzy from this reading because it was such a powerful reading uh, i would like to thank you so so much guys for watching and also for your support please feel free to subscribe to like comment down below i always like to interact with you guys in the comment section down below and finally for private readings all information you can find it in the info box now below so if you would like to book a reading email me and then uh, we're gonna go from there all right so thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys next time bye bye